So in this video we're going to run through the top five tips to improve your bunker play and get you hitting the ball out of the greenside bunker, hitting your ball closer. Top five tips, we're gonna run you through all of those tips and don't forget if you're looking for any more golf tips, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. Tip number one in a bunker, weight distribution. Do not think that you can lean back and scoop the ball up in the air. We need to try and get the weight distributed onto the left side. We want about 70% of the weight on the left leg and we want to try and keep it there throughout the whole swing. A really easy way to do that, once we've shuffled our feet in, we want to try and feel like the left knee bends over the toes of our left foot. So that's a really easy way to get the weight moving towards that left leg. So we're going to give that a try. We're going to set ourselves up shuffle our feet in, we've got the ball left of centre and the most important thing here, tip number one, left knee towards the left toes. We want to keep that weight on the left throughout the whole swing, in the back swing and through and the weight should finish on the left leg, not scooping back. Tip number two, and these things go hand in hand, stand further away from the ball in order to get the hands lower. Further back, hands lower. So further away than normal, shuffle those feet in, feel like you're far away, get the hands low as the face is open. This reorientates the face back on the target because if we have the face open and the hands high, there's a good chance we can go to the right. If we have the face open and the hands low, we change the lie angle, but most importantly, you allow yourself to hinge the wrists and set the wrists in a way that helps you open the face, splash the ball out the bunker and get lots and lots of height. So, setting ourselves up further away than normal, the face is open, the hands are low, and that will help us hinge and splash out the bunker. Tip number three, make sure you have plenty of club head speed. You've got to remember the sand is your target. You're hitting the sand under the ball, creating a cushion to splash the ball up. If you hit the ball, this 10, 15 yard shot might go 40 yards, but because we hit that cushion of sand underneath the ball, it only goes 10 or 15. So that's a huge, huge part of this more club head speed than you think. A lot of golfers aren't getting out of greenside bunkers due to lack of speed. Remember that club head speed is going to help you as long as you splash that sand about two inches before the ball. Plenty of speed with the sand and lots of loft equals plenty of height. Tip number four in our bunker, we need to think of how our club should interact with the sand. We want roughly the club to hit the sand or go into the sand about two inches before the ball and it should come out roughly the same place the other side. The sand is our target, not the golf ball. Maybe in a fairway bunker, not for a greenside bunker. So we want our club to come into the sand two inches before, with plenty of bounce on it. It releases under, into the sand, creates a cushion, which lifts up the golf ball and helps us consistently get that ball out of the bunker. So this is a great drill that you can try. Place your two lines down, hit your bunker shot, and try, hit that sand between the two lines onto the green. So this is a great one. We've got to remember we are splashing the sand onto the green. Two lines, we are going to splash that sand out onto the green. And then as a result, the golf ball lifts up. Club enters here, nice shallow amount of sand, and then the ball lifts up. And then we have tip number five. Make sure when we finish, we want to finish with the club high, weight left, and the chest facing the target. 
that is key to getting all those things, keeping the weight on the left leg, key to getting club head speed, hitting the sand in the right place, and managing that club face. So with all the points before, try and get a nice finish. The weight left, the body open, facing the target, chest to target, and that will help us get more balls out of the bunker. If you found this video helpful, give these tips, these five tips a try. Next time you're in a green side bunker, like the video, comment down below with how you got on. Comment down below how you got on in the bunker and make sure you subscribe to the channel.